Why in the world do we sweat? So we're just gonna grab your beard and go like, hmm. We're gonna ponder. So I'm gonna ask you a question. And it's starting to get warm outside. You know, the, the weather's changing, right? Have you ever gone outside and run around a lot and come back in the house all sticky? Sweat's a pretty good name. There's a, there's a fancy science, scientific name called perspiration. Can you say that? Perspiration. Perspiration. Why in the world do we sweat or perspire? Because, it, because the sweat cools our body down. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Well, we're gonna do a little science demonstration to show how much heat your body gets rid of when you sweat. So we're gonna have to use you as guinea pigs as like test. So I want you to take these band-aids right here, right? And we cut a hole in them and we're gonna peel them to make some little test spots on your arms. Cause you know, when you do science experiments, you have to have something called a control. Say control. 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 Yeah, get into control. So write a C, that's control. And then T for test. And then T for test. So I want you to blow across your control. See what it feels like. Kind of get that feeling, kind of blow on there. Feels a lot cooler. Does it feel cooler when you blow? Yeah. So that's just the way my bare skin is, is that's my control. There's three separate liquids here. I'm gonna put a drop of this, and I think it's just water. It might be nitric acid. If it starts to burn, let me know. Now put your hand out here. I'm gonna put it on your chest site. <laughs> got you, didn't I? Right. Got you. Now take your finger and smear that around. Blow on your control, then blow on your test site. You notice anything? Yes, the, the, the test site I, I feels when I blow on it, it feels so much colder. Let's measure this. Let me get my thermometer here. We'll take a picture of this. Read what that says. 29.9. It's 29.9. Blow on that other one. What's that one? 27.2. Ooh wee. That's two degrees difference just by having that much. Water. And that wasn't very much water, was it? I wonder if I, what I could do, I wanna get rid of that heat faster. So I'm gonna put this on your test site and you put the rub it in and you blow on it and see how it compares to the one you just experienced, right? It feels a lot colder. Is it a noticeable difference? Yes. Yeah. This is alcohol, rubbing alcohol. I've got a third liquid here. Now that you've all experienced the water and the alcohol, they tell me this stuff evaporates really fast. Oh yeah, it's our, it's already dry, but it feels and smells like hand sanitizer. Smells like hand sanitizer, it ain't hand sanitizer, but it smells kind of like it. When you study in science something, say thermodynamics, say that word. Thermodynamics. Yeah, don't worry about it, but it's a fancy word as you study of heat, right? Yes. Things do not get cold, they lose heat. And when you sweat, you give it, you give it a method for that heat to, to be carried away faster. That's why you sweat. And back years ago, when somebody got really sick and they didn't have some modern merit, they would take alcohol, this is alcohol, and put it on a rag and they'd call it an alcohol bath. You see this contraption, right? Yes. What is it? A fan. A fan. A fan. How does that fan make me feel cooler? Sir, at the end of the table, what do you think? It's blowing and it's making it easier for the heat to go away. Well, that fan blows air across, there's more air and it can take the, the water vapor off your skin faster and that's why you cool down faster. Yeah, it's kind of amazing, isn't it? Now you know why you sweat. Next time we get together, we'll figure out why do sweaty people smell different. Oh, that'll be a fun one, won't it? Oh, there's another thing we didn't do. Now I want to take some of this acetone, it's called acetone, I'll put it on your tongue. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs>